Yeah, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video and today we got a special video because today is the day where I'm gonna explain and show you guys how you can be better in a game called Ruin City Battles with my steps. Okay, here we go. Number one, step one. Send space balloons for income. What do I mean by that is because you need to send space balloons, which means space blue, space pink, space blacks, space whites, space blacks, etc, etc. Never send group balloons. If you send group balloons, you lose the game right away. So don't do what I'm doing here in my, game, uh, my video here. If you do, then you lose the game right away and you'll see soon as why. Then uh, the next step we got, use the best towers. And the best towers in general, or in this game in general, is the Cobra, the Glue, the Sniper, the Chipper, the Bomb against Black and Zebras, of course. Then we got uh, the Zero Zero Dot Monkey, and the Village. The Village is the best tower, in my opinion. Pops balloons in his radius, and that's like 5 damage per tick, so prefer to use village more than other strategies to be more honest then yeah then we got our next step which is step three send blacks and zebras against non-bomb shooter to overrun yeah you need to send space blacks or zebras to overrun your opponent's sites which means you need to full send blacks or full send zebras by the way space to uh overrun your opponent if they have bomb shooter, you are basically not vibing to your opponent's defense, sadly enough. Then we got step 4. Watch YouTubers that actually play Yellow Stadium. If you watch any other YouTubers that are like named Candy Skill, Zigzag Power, Asian Sensation, or from back then Alukian, Boltrix, Trippy Pepper, no, those people are really bad at this game. You definitely need to watch someone who plays the game and plays also uh, Yellow Stadium because this is the most high effort arena and everybody plays their shit arena, I would say, if I was good, but I'm not, that's so why I'm gonna say it's a godly tier arena. You need to basically get, re you need to get uh, like really strong-ish strategy. Maybe use like Sniper, Chipper and Cobra to win in Yellow Stadium because that's a pretty good strategy. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely difficult. <laughs> Step 5 is get a mod account. Yeah, get a mod account where it has like 1691 badges, 1692 badges, 693 badges. Everything with badges with 69 on it, and also the prestige is on 69. So you basically show your opponent that you're the boss, basically. And then the next step is to cheat. You heard me correctly. You need to cheat to win a game, since everybody cheats also, and you need to basically cheat yourself, which is what you need because everybody is a cheater. If they defend your rushes, they are basically a cheater. If they send you basically group loons, they're cheating. If they send you like, I don't know, Moab CMGs that early on with Cobras, they are cheating. So what you need to do is get infinite lives, you need infinite cash, you need infinite uh, tier fours, which you also have, and then um, infinite or really fast cooldown to use your ground zeros uh, ship or store, whatever you want to use, and you basically win the game afterwards. So, that will be my step six uh, step, and we'll go to the seventh step, which is called always rage when you lose. If you lose, you always need to rage. If you don't rage, then you basically don't win the next game. So, if you rage, please always basically rage, and you basically win the game. Because if you don't rage, your opponent knows, huh, this guy was like, noting what he should do, then I can easily rush him. No, if you rage, you're always focused to destroy your opponent. Always rage and you basically get the win there. So, if you rage, be my guest and rage there, because again, if you don't rage, you'll lose. The number 8 step is, 
go to the Discord, go to any Discord servers, join them, say that you're T1 and they believe you. Don't believe me? I did say one time that I was T1, everybody was scared of me. Everybody. Sadly, no uh, proof, but everybody was so scared that I said T1 and they basically bent on their knees and said, Please don't, please don't rush me with your godly strategies and godly tears of uh, balloons. Anything but that, and then you basically won the game. You're definitely now tier 1. GG's. And then our step 9 is, subscribing to Dream makes you a better player. If you know a Minecraft YouTuber called Dream, he's a YouTuber, he has like how much subscribers? Two? Yeah, he maybe has two subscribers, so if you want to subscribe to him and become better, that is your choice and your decision now to think about it. Do you want to be better in this game or do you want to be worse in this game? That is your option and your decision. I'm making this video just for you so you can actually think and say, oh, maybe I want to be good at this game. Then consider subscribing to Dream because you need to get better in this game. Alright, and our last step is to be toxic and always never have fun never have fun and be toxic face bomb thumbs down be toxic in discord as well just be toxic in general and you'll be the best player in btd battles ever and i'll say this again ever you basically win all the time against pro players that are basically in a re uh, yellow stadium that's how you win the game so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. It was a fun video and uh, if you want to see more you need to subscribe with 5 euros. And if you want to like the video you need to give me 20 euros or else this like option is not available for you. Who am I kidding? <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little April Fool's video. I mean, sure, it took me about a little bit of ideas to do that, but you can probably see that I don't really, you know, don't have any ideas for anything like that, so it's basically pretty bad that I uh, made such a stupid, unwatchable April Fool's video. But if you enjoyed this so far, then thank you very much for watching this video, as it's actually helping me quite a lot. Since uh, I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do, and I'm really, really sorry that I, you know, didn't, you know, had any good ideas for the little April Fools for the first time or second time. I don't know if I actually did one the first time of those, but uh, yeah. So I'm really sorry that I wasted your time with this video. It doesn't really matter, hopefully. <laughs> so if you got, if you guys are really new and you don't really want to watch this little video here. Uh, feel free to subscribe, it's free. You can always change your mind later if you want to change it. And uh, like button is of course also free. So if you can actually get like 3 likes, that'd be amazing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little fun video that I have planned for a little bit fun. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video or in the next stream. Peace out and have a cheesy day.